Question 1 of Prasna Upanishad. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jyoti Taravanat. Prasna Upanishad. Translated by Frederick Max Muller. Question 1. Prasna Upanishad. First question. Adoration to the Highest Self Hari Om Sukesas Bharadvaja and Saivavya Satyakama and Savryayan in Gargaya and Kausalya Asvalayana and Bhargava Vaidharbi and Kabhandin Katyayana. These were devoted to Brahman, firm in Brahman seeking for the highest brahman they thought that the venerable pipalada could tell them all that and they therefore took fuel in their hands like pupils and approached him that rishi said to them stay here a year longer with penance abstinence and faith then you may ask questions according to your pleasure and if we know them we shall tell you all then kabandin kathyayana approached him and asked sir from whence may these creatures are born he replied prajapati the lord of creatures was desirous of creatures praja he performed penance and having performed penance he produces a pair matter rai and spirit prana thinking that they together should produce creatures for him in many ways the sun is spirit matter is the moon all this what has body and what has no body is matter and therefore body indeed is matter now aditya the sun when he rises goes toward the east and thus receives the eastern spirits into his race and when he illuminates the south the west the north the zenith the nadir the intermediate quarters and everything he thus receives all spirits into his race thus he rises as vaiswanara belonging to all men assuming all forms as spirit as fire this has been said in the following verse they knew him who assumes all forms the golden who knows all things who ascends highest alone in his splendor and warms us the thousand rayed who abides in a hundred places the spirit of all creatures the sun rises the year indeed is prajapati and there are two parts thereof the southern and the northern now those who here believe in sacrifices and pious gifts as work done gain the moon only as their future world and return again therefore the rishis who desire offspring go to the south and that path of the fathers is matter rai but those who have sought the self by penance abstinence faith and knowledge gain by the northern path aditya the sun this is the home of the spirits the immortal free from danger the highest from thence they do not return for it is the end thus says the sloka some call him the father with five feet the five seasons and with twelve shapes the twelve months the giver of rain in the highest half of heaven others again say that the sage is placed in the lower half in the chariot with seven wheels and six spokes the month is prajapati its dark half is matter its bright half spirit therefore some rishis perform sacrifice in the bright half others in the other half 
Day and night are Prajapati. Its day is spirit, its night matter. Those who unite in love by day waste their spirit, but to unite in love by night is right. Food is Prajapati. Hence proceeds seed, and from it these creatures are born. Those, therefore, who observe this rule of Prajapati produce a pair, and to them belongs this Brahma world here. But those in whom dwell penance, abstinence, and truth, to them belongs that pure Brahma world, to them, namely, in whom there is nothing crooked, nothing false, and no guile. End of Question 1 Recording by Jyoti Taravanat Question 2 of Prasna Upanishad Translated by Max Muller Recording by Jyoti Taravanat Second Question Then Bhargava Vaidharbi asked him, Sir, how many gods keep what has thus been created? How many manifest this? And who is the best of them? He replied, the ether is that god the wind fire water earth speech mind eye and ear these when they have manifested their power contend and say we each of us support this body and keep it then prana breath spirit life as the best said to them be not deceived I alone, dividing myself fivefold, support this body and keep it. They were incredulous. So he, from pride, did as if he were going out from a bow. Thereupon, as he went out, all the others went out, and as he returned, all the others returned as bees go out when their queen goes out and return when she returns thus did speech mind eye and ear and being satisfied they praise prana saying he is agni fire he shines as surya sun he is parjanya rain the powerful indra he is voyu wind he is the earth, he is matter, he is God, he is what is and what is not, and what is immortal. As spokes in the nave of a wheel, everything is fixed in prana. The verses of the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, the sacrifice, the Kshatriyas, and the Brahmins. As Prajapati, Lord of creatures, thou movest about in the womb thou indeed art born again to thee the prana these creatures bring offerings to thee who dwellest with the other pranas the organs of sense thou art the best carrier for the gods thou art the offering to the fathers thou art the true work of the rishis of the other vangiras o prana thou art indra by thy light thou art rudra as a protector thou movest in the sky thou art the sun the lord of lights when thou showerest down rain then o prana these creatures of thine are delighted hoping that there will be food as much as they desire thou art avratya o prana the only rishi the consumer of everything the good lord we are the givers of what thou hast to consume thou o matarisva art our father make propitious that body of thine which dwells in speech in the ear in the eye and which pervades the mind do not go away all this 
is in the power of prana whatever exists in the three heavens protect us like a mother her sons and give us happiness and wisdom end of question 2 recording by jyoti taravnat question 3 of prasna upanishad translated by max muller recording by jyoti taravnat third question then kausalya asvalayana asked sir whence is that prana spirit born how does it come into this body and how does it abide after it has divided itself how does it go out how does it support what is without and how what is within he replied you ask questions more difficult but you are very fond of brahman therefore i shall tell it to you this prana spirit is born of the self like the shadow thrown on a man this prana is spread out over it the brahman by the work of the mind does it come into this body as a king commands officials saying to them rule these villages or those so does that prana spirit dispose the other pranas each for their separate work the apana the down breathing in the organs of excretion and generation the prana himself dwells in the eye and ear passing through mouth and nose in the middle is the samana the on breathing it carries what has been sacrificed as food equally over the body and the seven lights proceed from it the self is in the heart there are the hundred and one arteries and in each of them there are a hundred smaller veins and for each of these branches there are seventy two thousand in these the vyana the back breathing moves through one of them the udana the out breathing leads us upwards to the good world by good work to the bad world by bad work to the world of men by both the sun rises as the external prana for it assists the prana in the eye the deity that exists in the earth is there in support of man's apana down breathing the ether between sun and earth is the samana on breathing the air is vyana back breathing light is the udana out breathing and therefore he whose light has gone out comes to a new birth with his senses absorbed in the mind whatever his thought at the time of death with that he goes back to prana and the prana united with light together with the self the jivatma leads on to the world as deserved he who thus knowing knows prana his offspring does not perish and he becomes immortal thus says the sloka he who has known the origin the entry the place the fivefold distribution and the internal state of the prana obtains immortality yes obtains immortality end of question 3 recording by jyoti taravnat question 4 of the prasna upanishad translated by max muller recording by jyoti taravnat fourth question then suryayanin gargaya asked sir 
What are they that sleep in this man? And what are they that are awake in him? What power, Deva, is it that sees dreams? Whose is the happiness? On what do all these depend? He replied, O Gargaya, as all the rays of the sun when it sets are gathered up in that disk of light and as they when the sun rises again and again come forth so is all this all the senses gathered up in the highest faculty deva the mind therefore at that time that man does not hear see smell taste touch he does not speak he does not take does not enjoy does not evacuate does not move about he sleeps that is what people say the fires of the pranas are as it were awake in that town with the body the apana is the garhapatya fire the vyana the anvaharya pachana fire and because it is taken out of the garhapatya fire which is fire for taking out therefore the prana is the ahavanya fire because it carries equally these two oblations the out breathing and the in breathing the samana is he the hotri priest the mind is the sacrificer the udana is the reward of the sacrifice and it leads the sacrificer every day in deep sleep to brahman there that god the mind enjoys in sleep greatness what has been seen he sees again what has been heard he hears again what has been enjoyed in different countries and quarters he enjoys again what has been seen and not seen heard and not heard enjoyed and not enjoyed he sees it all he being all sees and when he is overpowered by light then that god sees no dreams and at that time that happiness arises in his body and o oh, friend as birds go to a tree to roost thus all this rests in the highest atman the earth and its subtle elements the water and its subtle elements the light and its subtle elements the air and its subtle elements the ether and its subtle elements the eye and what can be seen the ear and what can be heard the nose and what can be smelled the taste and what can be tasted the skin and what can be touched the voice and what can be spoken the hands and what can be grasped the feet and what can be walked the mind and what can be perceived intellect buddhi and what can be conceived personality and what can be personified thought and what can be thought light and what can be lighted up the prana and what is to be supported by it for he it is who sees hears smells tastes perceives conceives acts he whose essence 
is knowledge, the person, and he dwells in the highest, indestructible self. He who knows that indestructible being obtains what is the highest and indestructible, he without a shadow, without a body, without color, bright, yes, O oh friend, he who knows it becomes all-knowing, becomes all. On this there is this sloka. He, O oh friend, who knows that indestructible being wherein the true knower, the vital spirits, pranas, together with all the powers, deva, and the elements rest, he, being all-knowing, has penetrated all. End of Question 4 Recording by Jyoti Taravanath Question 5 of Prasna Upanishad Translated by Max Muller Recording by Jyoti Taravanath Fifth Question Then Saivya Satyakama asked him, Sir, if someone among men should meditate here until death on the syllable Om, what would he obtain by it? He replied, O Satyakama, the syllable Om is the highest and also the other Brahman. Therefore, he who knows it arrives by the same means at one of the two. If he meditate on one matra, the A, then being enlightened by that only, he arrives quickly at the earth. The Rik verses lead him to the world of men, and being endowed there with penance, abstinence, and faith, he enjoys greatness. If he meditate with two matras, a plus U, he arrives at the Manas and is led up by the Yajus verses to the sky, to the Soma world. Having enjoyed greatness in the Soma world, he returns again. Again, he who meditates with this syllable Om of three mantras on the highest person he comes to light and to the sun and as a snake is freed from its skin so is he freed from evil he is led up by the salmon verses to the brahma world and from him full of life hiranyagarbha the lord of the satyaloga he learns to see the all-pervading the highest person and there are these two slokas the three mantras a plus u plus m if employed separate and only joined one to another or mortal but in acts external internal or intermediate if well performed, the sage trembles not. Through the Rick verses, he arrives at this world. Through the Yajus verses, at the sky. Through the Salmon verses, at that which the poets teach, he arrives at this by means of the Omkara. The wise arrives at that which is at rest, free from decay, from death, from fear, the highest. End of Question 5 Recording by Jyoti Taravanat
Question six of Prasna Upanishad Translated by Max Muller Recording by Jyoti Taravanat Sixth Question Then Sukesis Bharadvaja asked him, saying, Sir, Hiranyanabha, the prince of Kosala, came to me and asked this question. Do you know the person of sixteen parts, O Bharadvaja? I said to the prince, I do not know him. If I knew him, how should I not tell you? Surely he who speaks what is untrue withers away to the very root. Therefore I will not say what is untrue. Then he mounted his chariot and went away silently. Now I ask you, where is that person? He replied, Friend, that person is here, within the body. He in whom these sixteen parts arise. He reflected, What is it by whose departure I shall depart? And by whose staying I shall stay? He sent forth created prana spirit. From prana, sraddha, faith, ether, air, light, water, earth, sense, mind, food. From food came vigor, penance, hymns, sacrifice, the worlds and in the worlds the name also as these flowing rivers that go towards the ocean when they have reached the ocean sink into it their name and form are broken and people speak of the ocean only exactly thus these sixteen parts of the spectator that go towards the person purusha when they have reached the person sink into him their name and form are broken and people speak of the person only and he becomes without parts and immortal on this there is this verse that person who is to be known he in whom these parts rest like spokes in the nave of a wheel you know him lest death should hurt you then he pipalada said to them so far do i know this highest brahman there is nothing higher than it and they praising him said you indeed are our father you who carry us from our ignorance to the other shore adoration to the highest rishis adoration to the highest rishis tat sat hari o end of question 6 recording by jyoti taravanat end of prasna upanishad Translated by Max Muller